Carol, great to see you again. You've got an interesting book this time. It's all sort of all on angles. Yes, mm. well, it's fascinating, this, <laughs> and full of tension. Marisha Pessel's second novel, and it's called Night Film. It'll be of great interest to film buffs. And I'm not a film buff, but mm. I, I loved it all the same. Um, but I don't quite know really what was going on, and I think that's the whole point of it. Yeah. It's quite scary. Mm -hmm. It deals with um, you know, the other world, spiritual things, um, black magic, the occult. Mm. Portals to other dimensions, that yes, sort of thing. Yes, but you yes. don't quite know yeah. whether it's real or imaginary. Okay. So really the whole book is dealing with the, the difference between illusion and reality and you never quite know so some of the hideous things that happen in it may in fact not really have happened they mm. might have been a nightmare mm. or a figment of someone's imagination it's basically about um cordova um who, who was a very famous very mysterious um filmmaker and no one knew anything about him no one has ever seen a photo of him um the actors who've worked for him never ever speak about what they did <laughs> some of them in fact have disappeared um, his films are horror films they're cult horror films mm. and some of them are so horrific that they've been banned and they're shown in sort of secret underground showings <laughs> um, so, so what, uh, what country are we in oh we're, we're in the states in the states, in the right? states. and he lives mm. on a, um, a very remote estate that is completely surrounded by forest and then a, you know, a 30 meter high fence and so no one can get in. <laughs> but there's a possibility that the local villagers from the nearby town have found a way in and in the middle of the night hold satanic rituals on the grounds of his Ooh. estate. But do, 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 do. is That's that cool. real or is that a fantasy? You okay. don't ever really know. Mm -hmm. um, his daughter, who is 24, extremely beautiful young woman, who was a brilliant pianist in her early teens, has committed suicide right at mm. the beginning of the novel. She's actually jumped down um, a, a, an empty lift shaft in the oh. middle of Manhattan. Mm. Um, so it's it's a murder yes. mystery as yes. well, and you're trying to find out what happened and what caused her to do that, mm. and was it suicide or was she pushed? Um, the whole thing is investigated by Scott McGrath, who is an investigative journalist who five years earlier had his career ruined by Cordova, the filmmaker, because he started investigating Cordova and got stopped every every avenue he explored mm -hmm. he was blocked and he got disgraced mm -hmm. i won't go into all the details of that right. but so so it's Cordova, a story of his quest to find out what's yeah, going on what's here. going mm -hmm. on and cordova's right. his enemy really mm. um he's been married numerous times um one of his ex-wives is now a drug addict um it, it yeah there's all sorts of extraordinary things go on there's a lot of tension mm. there's an amazing sequence where scott mcgrath ends up on the, he's, he's managed to get his way into the estate and um, he ends up in this huge vast warehouse that is full of all the old film sets mm -hmm. so there's a lot of stuff about his films and there are experts on his films who remember all sorts of details and suddenly this investigative journalist finds himself on the sets of various films yeah, so right. it's working mm. on all these different levels yes. um, I had to keep reading to yes. find what was going to happen. Well, we all like books um, like that. It's yes. not the yes. sort of thing I would normally yeah. read. Um, and this book looks but interesting too yeah. because it's got all sorts of yes. um, illustrations. illustrations. So there's, there's all the way through. Amazing, there are, there were, through his investigations, there are things he's found on the internet which are reproduced in, in the book, yeah, yeah, and so which gives it a, a wonderful sort of texture. So these are sort of um, internet um, um, computer screen grabs. Yes, yes. Mm. and you need to. Mm. I found myself reading the detail on them mm. because it's giving you more clues, oh, okay. every single thing on every page. Oh, that's it's, interesting, yeah. isn't it? It's mm. not just words on paper. It's got no. all these other dimensions to it yeah, as well. Yeah. It's quite fascinating. It looks mm. very excellent. Thank you so much for bringing. <laughs>